Hello guys and welcome to uh, re-entry. This was more than likely going to be uh, the last or maybe one more video just before the new year. Uh, so as you can see I haven't touched this since the update due to work and Christmas of course and other videos that we've made such as uh, Beast's new car video which of course if you are watching this video it's the one that was previously uploaded then of course my first time going bismuth crystals um, so I recommend you check that out it's still doing it now it's great fun anyway uh, this update so it's recently been updated going forwards he says he'll start with these kind of messages on the first launch after an update which is good um, so this is what he's been doing he's been with the the checklist and logic for the TLI has been added so you can make a flight to the moon and orbit it so it is still a work in progress by the looks of things and the moon orbit is very basic but you can ex start to explore it today very early access version of Apollo 8 is also available the mission still needs a lot of core changes to resemble the real flight path with correct moon sun orientations blah 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 um, it is still open source, and in all honesty, I don't want to mess with game files. I have no bugger all about coding and messing with game files. I've tried it once before and I messed it up, so I'm not going to touch it till it's actually in a proper um, proper update. So uh, he's also messed with the breaking the saves and load state changes, so I'm fine with that. And the Gemini rendezvous and docking system. So Gemini, I haven't actually done this mission yet, but Gemini has been significantly changed. It's making docking and rendezvous much more realistic and harder. So you can still use Gemini simplified docking system on by default that will resemble uh, what you're already used to. Toggle this in the realism settings. So that's interesting. Let's have a look at the settings. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh no, I'm not messing with that. Um, well, you can see I've got a great graphics card. Realism. What's this? Okay, enabling this will draw a cube around the instrument or switch your mouse cursor is hovering. Simplified docking, so enabling this will make docking or near docking maneuver simpler, such as when docking with the Agena or flying in closer proximity with the target vehicle. Okay, I'll, go, I'll leave that for now because I haven't tried it. So, what have we got on here? Ooh, that looks interesting, doesn't it? Okay, so I don't want to mess with um, Gemini too much. As you know, I was still working on Mercury, so I haven't touched the free play missions. Any historic... I don't want to do that one. I want any historic missions. Yes, there is. Those are the ones I was looking at. And I've done... That one, I think, was the one that blew up on me, if I remember right. I think it was Atlas and the Suborbit. So I don't want to touch that. Let's go for a historic mission, shall we? Let's go for Mercury Redstone 3. So the MR3 was the first manned mission of the Mercury program where the first American was launched into suborbital trajectory with a splashdown in the Atlantic and it was piloted by astronaut Alan Shepard. Let's crack on. Righty ho, we have five minutes to launch. Five minutes? Five minutes to launch. Good morning, Bat Boob. Good morning, whoever you are. Mission control, that's it, couldn't think of the word. So with five minutes from launch, today's flight will take you suborbital uh, flight with a route with an altitude of 180 kilometers of splash down in the Atlantic. All right, let's get this bitch ready. So let's use the clip door to get familiar with the missions and the goals. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Nice and simple, launch, then complete the flight controls test, complete the Earth observation test, and then splash down in the Atlantic. Easier said than done, as you saw with my last mission. Kind of cocked it up when the spacecraft blew up. So, okay, that's fine. It's a map checklist. Okay, let's get the pre-flight pre checklist. That's sorted. So we need final checks. Okay, so launch. It's ready. And then we need to perform a radio check. Five by five. Roger that. Okay. Anything else left to run on here? No, 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 no. That's on. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. There's nothing else I actually need to do on that. So let's step outside. Okay. We're back to the slimline uh, cigar version of the Mercury and the good old spacecraft SS. The only way is beastly. <laughs> There she is. 
Absolutely beautiful. Still love this game, no matter what people say. Early access and all. The brilliant games. So, let's speed time up, because we're just wasting it here. Okay, I've done final checks. Final checklist done. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's definitely better. Umbilical disconnect, and we have lifted off. And the clock has started. How do we read? We read good. Alrighty, let's get back inside. Hopefully this will be a good mission. The non explodey kind. Okay, that's all good. Approaching 30,000 feet. There's the moon! Woo! Okay, Eloise Beasley is still good to go. Roger, fantastic. This is the Eloise Beasley. Fuel is go 2.5 Gs, 9 psi, and the oxygen is go fantastic. Roger that. Thank God I muted my phone because I've just had a bunch of messages come in. Cabin pressure is holding to 5.5. Thank Cabin you. Holding to 5.5. I understand. Cabin holding to 5.5. Good. And while we are here, I'd just like to say thank you to the new subscribers. We've finally passed our end of year target, which was 200. It may not like to sound much to some people, but to us it means the world. Keep it up, guys. We couldn't be more pleased with everything so far. So thank you from both myself and the big fat airy beast. Fuels go. The nine G's got that some gravity that is. The moon seems to be better highlighted. Ooh, and a sudden stop, that's a bit strange. Are we get rid of the tower jet soon or what? There we are. Cut off. Tower jet is green. There oh, should be the separating that. capsule next. There we go. Cap sep is green. Periscope is coming out and the turnaround has started. Oh my god, that's making me feel a bit nauseous already. ASCS is okay, and if you've watched a few of my videos, you know I have quite a bit of trouble saying that word. Okay, let's get back inside. And there goes the external plate, and of course the lovely state of Florida. So I need to set the flight mode to ACS, auto to manual. See, I can't see it now. ASCS. On auto. To manual. RSCS. Well, this is where I have difficulty. I can never bleed and remember where it is. <clears throat> no, is that it? Oh, I'll do it again. What am I doing now? Oh, yes, yes, right. Just looking over here just to make sure I'm not missing anything there. That's the radio controls. Warning lights. Suit fan. Cabin lights. Altitude retro delay. Is it that one? There you are. Let's go through.
Uh, roger that. Oh! Oh god, I hate doing these manoeuvres. That's the only bit of the screen I wish was digitised. Get the yaw to zero, don't I? Okay, so yaw definitely got to come down. No, yaw is way too high. Holy hell, what's happening? Nothing, it's just a bit. Just a bit. Start the retro sequence. Okay, right, let's start retro. normal shall we? We need to jettison the retros don't we? Okay so that is finally sorted itself out. I think. Now, see it shows how much I actually forget. I've, I haven't played this for about a week. I mean I'm not too good on the controls anyway you guys know that but need to jettison that. That's what blew me up last time, was keeping that attached. I need to get rid of the retros. Hmm. Okay, let's get back to that. Oh shit, that made me jump. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, just in time. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. I've actually got my uh, plasma trails just starting to form here. They're coming right down here. Here we go. I just hope I'm in time. No, I'm not. I'm going to blow up. Make it through this, I'll be amazed. No, am I through? No way. Am I seriously through there? Let me do a radio check, make sure I've not uh, that I've not blown up. God, I'm still alive. Okay, right. Shit, I am and all. How the hell did... No. No way. I bloody have I've made it through. Christ, I must have done it by the skin of my teeth then. That was a very short flight. And then, well, as you can see, it made me jump quite a bit as well. That sounds like the, uh, the drogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. The parachutes will open up soon enough. Okay, how many feet per second are we doing? Mm, not many feet a second, actually. That's quite a slow descent, but... Mm, okay, can't complain. Can I speed this up a bit? Nope, I can't. Well, I'm uh, actually quite surprised... 
I made it through that. Looks like the main chute's about to go. There we go. Good. Yeah, landing tickets have started. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you heard my surprise uh, that I can't believe I actually made it through that. That's really, really has quite surprised me. Uh, so, yeah, that's good. Actually, there may be, well, I'll record a couple of more videos. I'm not going to upload them all in one day because I don't want to spam you guys. But, um, yeah, definitely, definitely do a couple more of these. If they're as short as this, I'll be happy to keep doing them. Plus, it's always fun as well. Uh, stay tuned because I will be doing the uh, mission to the moon. I'm going to give it a shot in a bit, see if I can actually do it. If it's if it's work in progress, I'll see how far I can get. And if I can't, then you know I can't. So we'll see what we can do. We need to attract the periscope. We over here somewhere that one. Tower separate phase shifter, no, no, just metros. There we go. Metro's gone away. And that's fine. We've got about 10,000 feet to go. So, yeah, um, I'm actually looking forward to trying that one. I mean, I may possibly have something planned for today. We'll see, see how it goes. And of course, a happy new year to everyone who is watching our videos. How far are we now? We've got to be close. There goes the drogue. Just need some ropes now for these parachutes. Well, you know, guidelines. Couldn't think of the words. Still can't believe I made it through. Honestly can't. The angle, it was... It was oh, well, you saw... I'll just keep my amazement to myself on that one. I really can't believe it. <clears throat> it properly threw me. It looks like quite close to splashdown as well. Less than a thousand feet. We should be uh, heading to splashdown. Oh, well, there, there we are. Let's see it now, can't we? Splashdown any second now. Show me that water. Here we are. Splashdown! I don't know whether I've done it right or not. I don't think I have, because normally it says um, fast. But it hasn't said it on this time. Right, well, okay. Um, I actually don't know if I've passed this one. Let's check it out. So, you've seen it here anyway. I've done the mission. Really surprised I passed. Let's see if I've done it. Okay, so it was on Mercury. No, didn't think it had done it right. Well, I've done it, so I'll redo it again. Not on this video, but I'll try it on another one. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more from the other ways, beastly guys. And we shall have some more videos coming up for you for the new year. Take care.